So is it a good idea to swap Scrum Masters and members of the team occasionally? Well, yeah. There you go. Um, but why? So yes, we do want to, not too often. Every time we change a team, we're creating what could be politely referred to as a foreign element. We're creating a change and the team is going to respond to that change however it responds, but often negatively. Okay? It's got to learn how to deal with that new change. Um, it's going to throw it into chaos, maybe momentarily, maybe for a little while. If they've suddenly lost a core member, be it the Scrum Master or a developer or a product owner, they've got to learn that and it will take time for them to understand where the benefits are rather than focusing on the loss. As humans, we are very loss focused. Okay? If we lose something, we mourn it. Okay? That may seem um, hyperbole, but actually we do every time we lose something. If it's really trivial, it doesn't matter to us. You know, oh, that's a shame. You know, I'm sure you've all sat there. You've dropped a coin down a grate or something like that. And momentarily you felt bad. You know, like, oh, that was 50p. Yeah. Could have, actually, I couldn't have bought anything in the UK for 50p anymore. But you get the idea. Um, hopefully a team member is more important than 50p that just fell down the drain. So emotionally, you're going to have a response as a team. And it's going to take you a little bit of time to understand that just because Darren, the Scrum Master, has left and John, the Scrum Master, has joined, it's not all bad. At some point, you're going to understand John, the Scrum Master, though slightly shorter and uglier, does bring benefits. So every time you make a change, you've got to be aware that this is going to happen. And it happens all the time. So... Yes, we do want to, but not so often that that response to change is impacting the long term view. Okay. What I would say is you need to offer opportunities to go between teams, move on. At the end of the day, even if you don't offer it, people are going to do it themselves. They're going to get new jobs. Okay. It's about managing that correctly. Hopefully, you can keep control of it. Everybody loves working at your organisation and they want to stay. So it's not about people quitting and disappearing in the great resignation. Instead, it's about offering them growth opportunities, right? You've been in this team for 18 months. There's an opportunity over in that team to develop your skill set further, to take on more responsibilities, whatever it is. Okay? Do it deliberately. Make the team aware that it's coming. Don't hide it because they're going to respond. And if they don't know, it's going to be a bigger shock. So don't do it too often. Make people aware okay, is really how we do it. What we have to remember is it takes time to get good at a job. It takes time to gel as a team. If we're going around this loop too often, you're never going to get good at what you do. You're never going to get to be a good team, never mind a great, because every time we're resetting, we've got to work out again how do we work together? How do these relationships work? What are the power dynamics? Do we estimate in the same way still? We've got a different set of experiences and knowledge. Maybe that's going to steer our product in a different direction. All of these questions every time new people join a team or leave. So we don't want you to change your teams too often. It is necessary. It is part of it. Without it, teams become stale. Okay. And this is double-edged sword really, damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. If people leave, it disrupts the team. If they stay, it can actually be worse because they start thinking in very similar fashions. They become comfortable, they fall into that rut of the current status quo. Right? This is how we do things around here. They're not seeking improvements because they're comfortable. Okay? A homogenous team is not an inventive creative space. It's a group of people who all think the same thing and have stopped bothering to talk about it because they know they do. We need to change team members in and out, including the Scrum Master, often enough to stop that happening, but not so often that it is severely impacting their ability to create great products. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, 
a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.